My name is Jake, I'm 21, and I'm unemployed. I don't actually intend to collect anything. Pretty much whatever comes in my house doesn't leave. Food wrappers, bottles, cans, any kind of garbage, really. My name is Joe, and I'm Jake's mom. I don't understand it. I think that, that that's, what, that's how it began. Just all this stuff started piling up, and it got to the point where it's too much. Every single object has a meaning behind it. Say my mom buys me a water bottle. I feel like if I throw the water bottle away that I'm saying I don't love my mother. I can go in his room and see everything I've ever brought over. It's there. The reason there's so much dog hair in the house is because I feel like if I throw away the dog hair that I'm going to speed up my dog's aging. And I know how insane that is, but I feel like I'm killing her by doing it. I don't even try anymore. I used to. I used to manage it somehow. But Such bull when you can lose something within a one foot vicinity of you and you actually have to look for it. It just has gotten so much worse. My name is Franklin and I am Jake's boyfriend. My name's Terry, I'm Jake's dad. Jake and I live in, actually, it's hard for me to just say this, but um, Jake and I live pretty much in a garbage dump. I honestly think that the house, it's a, it's a two-person act. Everything upstairs is all Jake, and everything downstairs is all Terry. It's just, I mean, when they first moved in, it was a regular apartment, and um, now it's just a, a junkie. There were hundreds of bottles on the floor, and that's just from six months. But I've been piling them up for years. I just don't take them out. I don't care. Like my dad is definitely an alcoholic. Absolutely, no doubt. I don't want to say it makes my situation any worse, but it certainly makes it harder to focus on my own problems. He's such a good kid. He'd never hurt anybody, and he's, and he's, it's just sad that he has this disorder, whatever it is. It breaks my heart. I want things to work for him. So. They just spend their entire lives taking care of me and making sure I'm okay and I'm 21. And Sorry. I'm 21, I'm supposed to be out having fun, graduating college and all that, but I can't even take care of my own hygiene. Hi, it's Tara. Hi, I'm Dr. Tara Fields. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. I work with people who have OCD, hoarding disorders, and then many other things. He wants to talk to you alone. Okay. But I want to give you a warning. He's extremely drunk. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go talk to him. All right. Terry, I hear you want to talk to me. I'm Tara. Well, I'll be quite honest. I don't trust you guys. You know, I, I mean, I have to, you're, you're bringing up something, and I can smell you've been drinking. Yes, I've been drinking, so what? So what? Well, What's that got to do with anything? Are you worried being an a asshole? Why well, is that a it, problem? I, what I see is Jake's getting very agitated. Jake's getting agitated because I'm giving you a hard time. That's all I'm that getting is. agitated because you're not being rational right now. It's just, it's, it's frustrating that 
you are just sitting on the grass and drinking all day. And do you know, do you know what it's like to see someone you care about doing that to themselves? Do you have any clue what it's like to see that? I have to stand back also because. Okay, you don't like the smell. You know what? I, I don't, don't care what you like. Mm -hmm. You got here five minutes ago. What do you know about him? You know um, nothing. Dad, do not get in her face. No, you know what? It's it's okay. Do you do you want me to be a part of this? I do. It's just... okay. And here's what I want to reassure you about, and your dad can choose to listen or not, is that you're going to be in control. Anything you don't want to do, you just tell me, so you have all the control. I can. I promise I you. I can actually just leave. Is that okay? I am so. No, okay no. With you that. have all Jake the power. Jake wants me to leave. Okay. Do you, you want? Do you want her to be here? Yes, I do. Okay, I want her to be here too for you, but I don't have to be here with her. You don't have to. Absolutely. She's the here same... for you. She's That's not right. here for me. That's right. Let's continue and see the home. All right. Bye, Dad. Don't trust the words she said. Dad, yeah. shut the f up. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What? What? What's? So... You know what? It is. You're absolutely right. It is. You're absolutely right. So you've got two battles going on. Your dad did have a point. You don't know me. It takes time to build trust. So whatever you need from me to feel safe with me, you tell me, OK? My anxiety is pretty high right now. It's really weird seeing a bunch of people you don't know putting on face masks about to go in your house. Yeah. It's uh, an interesting situation, to say the least. <laughs> So what's the feeling that's coming up now? I'm just scared. OK. And, and what are you afraid of? Just like how. <laughs> so rate your anxiety for me. Where is it on a scale of 1 to 10? Oh, no. It's definitely breathing. like a solid 8 right now. It, okay. it keeps like going up and down because I keep considering different outcomes. And I'm really clear that we don't want it to get to a level 9 because we know level 10 is too much for him to handle. So if I can really convince him that anything below a 9, if, if it's an 8, if it's 7, if it's heart's beating, that he can actually manage that. Okay, this is what I need to hear to help you. Tell me what that voice is saying when it's it's talking about the outcomes because this is this is how you, you freeze yourself, how you get that brain lock, is that you start jumping ahead too far, and how's it gonna turn out? Don't jump ahead, okay? Don't jump ahead, stay in the moment. Right now, you're outside. So the liquor bottles are all here. Um, these or liquor bottles. All under that table, this entire closet's full of bags full of liquor bottles. I'd say there's about a thousand wine bottles downstairs. Um, that's not my doing. That's my father's doing. Is this all one? No, it's not. Oh my god! I never knew this was down here. This is like the beginning of it. Terry Greenlee. <laughs> Jake. What? Are you kidding me? No. How does it feel? It feels good, but it's really disturbing to see how much. Mm -hmm. You did it. Ooh, you did it, you did it, you did it, you did it, you did it. Okay. It's just so f***ed up seeing, like... Okay. The, like, evidence of what he's done to himself. It was abstract before, but now it's, like, solid and contained yep. in it. Yep. It stinks. I mean, I can smell the liquor, I can smell the filth, and then I can only imagine what it was like when the drinking was going on. Um, this is garbage, but I have a really hard time accepting that. I just, I just look like this is so many memories, and I... Mm -hmm. But you know what? The more you find out that you can tolerate this, the better it's going to be. Okay, where are we now? Look at the eight. Okay, so where do you feel it in your body? Everywhere, my whole body's just... Around. No, I want to know specifically, where do you feel my it? My head feels like it's about to explode. 
Okay. It's what like else? this intense pounding. My mouth is going dry. My uh -huh. my arms are getting weak. Okay. It's just like you I feel used anything? to play this game all the time when I was a kid. I know, I, and you don't now. And I really I get that. And what's the worst thing that would happen if you threw it out? What what what's the worst thing that could happen? Realistically, yeah. nothing. Right. This stuff is just a lie. Then I'll never be able to play it again. Right. But and I don't you, think, I mean, look at that. It's cracked. It's Yeah. And if you never play it again, then what? Why is that so awful? Oh, yeah. In the garbage. In the garbage. <sighs> Amazing. <laughs> I'm Amazing. Sorry. I'm just going to do this as fast as I can before I change my mind and decide I don't want to do this because, OK. Getting rid of the dog hair is definitely going to be the hardest thing for me. To make my dog's life better, I have to do something that my brain tells me is killing my dog. <laughs> I just want her the last couple years of her life to be the best year she's ever had because I owe it to her. If there's one thing that'll seriously just take me down, it's this. So this is the final hurdle. You are so close, so close to what you said you wanted days ago when I first met you, which is clear slate. And a clear slate, you can write anything you want on it. So let's, let's start. If you can do this, clear this up, that's graduation. Really? <laughs> that's graduation. It's like I'm doing it for her, you know? And I you just never... don't want her to live in a bad situation anymore. Yeah. That shows how much you love her. It shows how brave you are. That's love. I love her so much. This is helping her breathing. This is helping my breathing. Oh my God. <laughs> You're right. This is all bull. This is all total bull. You are amazing. This is all such bull. I can't even. This, this isn't my dog. This is dead. This is dead hair. It's nothing. I'm so down with doing this right now. I'm so okay right now. Mm -hmm. I'm so okay right now. I mean, I'm not, but I'm okay. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. What Jake achieved was phenomenal, and it was huge progress forward. But I, as I say, when I work with addicts, you know, all addicts have a big support system that allows them to continue their behavior. You know, the other, the other people sort of in this, this play that's his life haven't been around. My dad's gonna flip out, probably. Um, even though this is all beneficial to him even, um, he doesn't want it happening. He would prefer to stay in the mess, I think. being a fan of hoarders and subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.